Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a system of equations a plus b plus c equal to 0, a square plus b square plus c square equals to 1. And now we are going to find the value of a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call this uh, equation number one and this as equation uh, number two and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, equation one and here i have copied down equation uh, one and now i'm going to isolate uh, c so therefore uh, i'm going to move uh, this a plus b on the other side so if we move a plus b on the other side so c is going to be equal to negative a plus b. Let me go ahead and take a square on both sides. This is going to become c square and I'm going to take a square on this side as well. So this could be written as a c square and we know negative and then square comes out to be positive. So this could be simply written as a plus b whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. So therefore this uh, equation is going to be written as uh, c square equal to I'm going to apply this uh, rule. So this is going to give us uh, a square plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b square and now i'm going to isolate a plus b square so therefore i'm going to move this uh, 2 a b on the other side so therefore uh, we are ended up with the uh, a square plus uh, b square equals to c square minus uh, 2 a b let me go ahead and call this our equation number three and I'm going to put my equation 3 right up here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation 2 now. And here I have copied down uh, equation 2 over here. Let me go ahead and move this uh, c square on the right hand side. So we can write uh, this one uh, as uh, a square plus b square equal to 1 minus uh, c square. Let me call uh, this our equation uh, number uh, 4. And now we are going to compare equation 3 and equation 4. And here I have copied down equations 3 and 4 over here. Since the left hand sides are identical, so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides. So therefore I can write uh, c square minus uh, 2ab equal to 1 minus uh, c square. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, c square on the right hand side. So therefore we got a negative 2ab equal to 1 minus uh, c square and minus c square again. And in this uh, next step uh, I have combined this uh, negative c square and negative c square gives us a negative 2c square. And now let me go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. I'm going to divide across the board. I'm going to divide negative 2 over here and negative 2 over here as well. And here we can see this uh, cancels out. So we ended up a, b on the left hand side. And here this is going to give us uh, c square. And then uh, we are going to get negative 1 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and call this uh, our equation uh, number 5. And finally, we are ended up with uh, these uh, five uh, equations uh, over here on the top. And now let's focus uh, on equation 4. And here I have copied down this equation 4 over here. Let me go ahead and take a square on both sides. I'm going to take square on the left uh, hand side and square on the right hand side uh, as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity once again. A plus B whole square could be written as A square plus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply it uh, on the left uh, hand side where I'm going to replace this A by A square and uh, B by B square. And then we are going to apply this uh, property. If I have a, a square and then whole square could be written as uh, A power 4. We multiply these nested exponents. 
So therefore, the left hand side could be written as a power 4 plus 2a square b square plus b power 4 equals to and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side where a is going to be our 1 and this b is going to be c square so therefore uh, right hand side is going to become 1 minus uh, 2c square plus uh, c power 4 and now let me go ahead and move this uh, 2a square b square on the right hand side so therefore uh, this could be written as a power 4 plus uh, b power 4 equals to we can write uh, 1 minus uh, 2c square plus uh, c power 4 when we move this 2a square b square on this side become negative 2a square b square and now i'm going to add uh, c power 4 uh, on uh, both uh, sides so the left hand side is going to become a power 4 plus uh, b power 4 plus uh, c power 4 equals to on the right hand side we are going to have 1 minus uh, 2c square they add up to plus uh, 2c power 4 minus uh, 2a square b square and now let's focus on this uh, a square uh, b square let me go ahead and write down a square b square could be written as uh, a b whole uh, square and now let's focus uh, on equation 5 we know a b equals to c square minus 1 divided by 2 so i'm going to replace uh, this uh, a b by c square minus 1 divided by 2 over here so therefore this could be written as uh, c square minus uh, 1 divided by 2 whole uh, square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity once again a minus b whole square we are going to apply it uh, on this over here in this case our a is going to be c square and b is going to be 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore uh, this uh, square is going to be c power 4 minus uh, c square plus uh, 1 divided by 4 by applying this uh, formula so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, a square b square by this uh, whole uh, polynomial as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, a square b square by this uh, c power 4 minus c square plus uh, 1 divided by 4 and the rest uh, is uh, same and now in this uh, next step i'm going to distribute this uh, negative 2 across the board as you can see in this uh, next step uh, when we multiply this one uh, negative 2 times c power 4 is going to give us a uh, negative 2 c power 4 and then uh, positive 2 c square and negative 2 times 1 divided by 4 is going to give us a negative 1 divided by 2 and the rest uh, are uh, same and now we can see that this uh, negative 2 square and positive 2 square they are gone 2 c power 4 and negative 2 sub c power 4 are gone as well so therefore we ended up with uh, a power 4 plus uh, b power 4 plus uh, c power 4 equals to 1 minus uh, 1 divided by 2 and we know 1 minus 1 divided by 2 is same as 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore our uh, a power 4 plus uh, b power 4 plus c power 4 value turns out to be 1 uh, divided by 2 so thus our a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 value turns out to be 1 divided by 2 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.